Hey guys, today we are checking out a gaming chair from Victorich. They've sent over the Victorich Hurricane, which I'm sitting on right now, and I've had a fun few weeks testing it out. In fact, you may have seen it on my Facebook live streams too. Anyway, in this video, I'm gonna give my full review on this chair and compare it also with the budget-friendly Thomas Cyrix. Just a brief history about them. So Victorish just started selling their chairs in Malaysia. However, they are a well-established brand in China with over 20 years of experience in the design and manufacturing of chairs, especially in the luxury car seat industry. In fact, they are massive in the Chinese esports scene. Anyway, back to this chair. So the first thought that ran through my mind when I sat on this chair was the fact that it was so much more comfier with a sturdier build quality compared to the Thomas chair. Now, I understand that that's not the most fairest of comparisons because the Victoria chair is slightly higher in terms of price compared to the Thomas chair, but those are the only two chairs I have, so bear with me. The Victoria chair is honestly in the leaks of all those premium brands such as Secret Lab and Noble Chairs. So let's get into more details of this chair. It's made from a high density memory foam and wrapped in hydrolysis resistant leather. Now that's not something you hear often, so what is it? It's basically a more durable and softer material than leather, whilst also being water resistant to prevent the chances of peeling over time from any types of liquids such as sweat. There's also an integrated steel frame within the high density foam. This provides the user with extraordinary comfort and durability. Next, we have the multi dimensional armrest. Basically, you can fine tune the position to give you the most supported and comfortable seating position. Moving downwards, we have the aluminium steel base. Aluminium is known for its light yet strong properties, giving this chair a really, really solid base. Lastly, we have the multi-tilt mechanism and rocking function. Similar to the armrest, this chair also allows you to fine-tune your seating angle. Don't worry about fitting into this chair, the chair will fit you instead. Now let's quickly compare it with the Thomas Cyrix. In terms of build quality, the Victorich Hurricane definitely comes out on top. The Hurricane seat definitely supports my body better. The memory foam is also just soft enough with the right amount of support. Let's move to the armrest. They both do an excellent job of being adjustable, but have a listen at how it is adjusting the Victorich and Thomas armrest. The Victorich armrest feels very premium and sturdy, whilst the Thomas armrest feels very plasticky and flimsy basically. Moving to the side, have a look at the tilt adjustment handle. The Thomas chair and in fact some other big brands too look so bare and uncomfortable. If we take a closer look at the Victorich chair, we can see that they've put in effort to make the handle look presentable and I think much more comfortable. This goes back to their many many years of experience in the luxury car seat industry. Lastly, one of the biggest differences between the chairs and to me even a deal breaker is the smoothness of the wheels. You know what, let me just show you because there's no, there's no better way to explain it. So I'm just going to be pushing the chairs forward, alright? See the difference? It might be a faulty wheel set, but this goes back to your general build quality and the quality checks done on the products before it gets to the customer. Alright guys, no product is perfect, so let's talk about two downsides I have with this chair. Firstly, the height adjustment is not enough for me. I'm 183cm. We all know that an ergonomic sitting position requires your arms to be resting comfortably on your table. But even at the maximum height, my arm isn't flat on the table. Now the chair itself as a whole is very comfortable and ergonomic but I just wish I can increase the height of the chair even further. Now I have to say that this is also kind of subjective because it depends on your table setup. My table is a little bit higher than usual. It's a custom made table. If your table was lower or one of those adjustable ones, 
I think you wouldn't have that problem with this chair. Secondly, the included lumbar support is way too stiff for me. It's made out of a cold cured foam, but I prefer something a little bit softer. With that being said, it's not a permanent attachment to the chair and you can easily replace it. So let's wrap this video up. For the price, I think this is an excellent premium gaming chair. Yes, there are many, many cheaper brands out there, but from my experience, you really get what you pay for. And yes, I know that there are many other premium gaming chair brands out there, but with the Victoria's chair, you don't have to pay such a high price to get an excellent premium all-rounded gaming chair. So if you're in the market for your first gaming chair or even an upgrade, you should definitely consider the Victoria's Hurricane. In fact, it's their best seller. As usual, I'll include purchase links in the description below. If you guys have any questions, please leave them as a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. So that's it from us. We'll see you guys for the next video. Get off my chair. I need to do a review. Get off my chair. Go, go, go. Basically, you can fine-tune the position to... <laughs> Husky!